my name is Shermeen Habib, and I'm the co-founder of You May Care. I'm Shermeen's uh, sister, and my Brother. name is Ali. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Should we start over? <laughs> <laughs> Three days, six pitch-off competitions, and 24 companies that were winning for a prize. They're brand new, they don't have a brand, they don't have a large customer network, and getting exposure and getting access to investors and partners is very challenging. My name is Ali Habib, and this is my sister, Dr. Shermeen Habib, <laughs> and we're the founders of You May Care. So what we do is that we've developed a device called You May Rest, and it helps reset the effects of screen time with thermal meditation. It's a fantastic opportunity for them to be on the hot seat and have to practice and hone their pitch and really think about what they're doing. My name is Dan. I run a company called Bisu. We're a wellness company, so we make technology, but our main aim is to help people um, lead healthier lives through a great experience. So great technology and also great design. And our product is the world's first connected urine analyzer. And as a judge, I had a hard time because the, the, the companies that they brought in, they were all very valuable. My name is Valerie Song and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ava Technologies. And what we do is we make Ava Byte, which is a smart indoor electronic garden. The ability to have four different panelists, ranging from entrepreneurs to investors, really gives me a great range of advice. Each one of us want to be part of the development team and say, they should do this, they should change their business model, they should go, go this way or that way. 30 years ago, we are a startup. And we start up the company, we understand what it takes to start. Probably the most valuable part is what we do afterwards and that the judges sit with the startups and give them feedback on how to improve uh, where we thought uh, their business plan or their presentation was lacking. And I think the feedback is not just for them to pitch next time, but also to even rethink some of their business strategies on a go forward basis. We are from a company called Keg and we make fertility tracking Kegel devices for women. We don't have to go super deep into technology to make people understand what we do. And before I was trying to really explain how advanced technology is and how cool it is, but no one was really interested. But in simple words, when you talk about how people make babies and what is important, then people just get it. Before all of our pitch competitions, we spend time with the entrepreneur to get to know them and hear their story see what it is that is their product, their market, their customers, their business model, and we give advice. We did actually a dry run with them yesterday, not with the judges, with, uh, with Friend Forward, and they were very supportive for us. They gave us inputs about how we should tell the story, how we should really improve the, you know, the way that we present our numbers and the traction. They're truly, genuinely nice and incredibly helpful people. They have your best interest at heart, and I actually recommend them to every entrepreneur that I talk to. I think the progress has definitely been there year after year. We've seen presenters with bolder ideas, with even bigger vision. Magalix basically uses uh, machine learning to help companies who run their applications on the cloud to optimize, save money and save time. Um, rather than doing it manually every four weeks, we do it for them multiple times a day using machine learning. YC, I'm the founder and the CEO of Lubin. Uh, we are building property management solutions to help property managers be more efficient on their tasks. Uh, we are here to democratize autonomous property management with trust. We still remember that passionate, so we have the empathy about what is the difficulty they are going to encounter. And I hope all the entrepreneurs that have come into the booth uh, even said hello, had a pitch, had a conversation with some investor, that they're able to come back and know that we're always going to be here supporting entrepreneurs around the world. <laughs> <laughs>